Hi everyone, it's Nathan here with Thrust Flight, and today we're going to talk about your earning potential as an airline pilot. We all choose to be pilots because we love to fly, but the pay is a nice bonus. So how much exactly can you make as a pilot? As of July 2020, the average annual income for a pilot is $102,851. But there's a lot more to it than just that number. If you are considering a career as an airline pilot, you need to know what to expect from the beginning of your career to the end. To understand the different milestones you will reach in your career, you need to understand the difference between first officer versus captain and the difference between regional airlines and major airlines. As an airline pilot, you will start your flying career for a regional airline. These are airlines that typically fly smaller aircraft and have routes that only cover a specific region. After flying at a regional airline for three to five years on average, pilots typically move up to a major airline. The majors are all the big names you're familiar with. American, Delta, United. These airlines travel to major hubs all over the world and cover most of the world's international flights. The other factor that will determine your pay as a pilot is whether you are a first officer or a captain. The majority of large commercial aircraft will have two pilots, the first officer and the captain. The first officer or co-pilot is second in command of the aircraft. The captain, of course, is the pilot in command. Throughout your career, these factors will affect your annual earnings. Starting out, you may be making around $50,000 as a first officer at a regional airline, but by the time you are a captain at a major airline, your earning potential can exceed $350,000 annually. But getting more specific, how is annual income determined at each of these levels? To answer this question, it is important to note that pilots are paid hourly. So your annual income depends on your hourly rate, how many hours you're flying, and benefits on top of your hourly rate. Aside from where you are on your career timeline, there are multiple factors that can determine your hourly rate, including the type of aircraft you fly, how many total flight hours you have under your belt, and your previous flight experience. The number of hours you get to fly is largely influenced by which routes you are selected to fly. And all of this is determined by one key word, seniority. The higher your seniority number, the more control you have over which type of aircraft you fly, which routes you can fly, and you have more pull when negotiating for benefits. We've said it before and we'll say it again, seniority is everything. Well, we really hope that you've enjoyed this video today. If you're interested in making the big bucks as an airline pilot, but don't know if you should go to a college or straight to a flight school, check out our video to the side titled Four Year University versus Accelerated Flight School. For Thrust Flight at Addison Airport, I'm Nathan. Take care.